So step one, choose a single CMS. If you didn't know, a CMS is a content management system, and the reason we're choosing just one CMS is because each CMS has different posting rules and a different procedure for adding content and therefore getting your backlinks. So it's best to focus at one at a time. And I think there's two options when you're choosing a CMS to research. First is simply import a single CMS success list that you already have. For example, on Black Hat World and other forums, you can buy success lists. Some people will sell their success list or their verified link list, and those will very often be split into different CMS. Or if you have GSA or some other link builder already, you can export your verified links from that program and you can use that as your seed list for Footprint Factory. Now the second thing you could do is research a CMS to create a starter list to expand. So this is where you don't already have a success list for the CMS that you want to find new links for. So you have to have a starter list so you can either buy one or import one you already have or you're going to have to create it yourself. You have to have a starting list in order to import into FPF so you can find the footprints and make a very targeted scraping list. And starting with a new list is tricky for people that don't know what they're doing. I like to use GSA. If I choose a CMS from here then chances are I'll easily be able to post to it. You may have to edit some of these engine files uh, to make it post properly. But let's go ahead and uh, check a do follow contextual platform. After you've got all these selected, so check all, right click and then say uncheck engines that use no contextual links. And then after that you can say uncheck engines that use uncheck engines with no follow. Okay, so now we've got a few engines that we can look at that are both do follow and contextual. Let's have a look at these wiki wiki. Okay, I'm just going to have a look to see if my list show anything good for that. Go to my success list, verified, and then search for wicker 68k. It's probably not going to be a very big list. I can see that I've got 1121 lines, and to be honest, there's a lot of duplicate domains here. The, the reason I'm, I'm looking at this is because I want to find a CMS that I've already got some successes for but also has a, a reasonable uh, number of domains that I can target because I don't want to spend two days scraping only to find that only 10,000 sites have, have this CMS. Um, so there is a little bit of research involved and I'm going to go away for a minute and I'm going to check some of these CMS that are, that are here and uh, look for a new one that I haven't done before. Um, what I did is I went into the uh, program files and then into GSA and then the engines and because I've had GSA on this server for quite a while um, I can see when the engines were updated so if I order the list by date modified I can see that this is the newest one okay so I think this is a new engine uh, and it also says in the release notes if I go here view version history uh, the developer puts in new engines into the update notes so it means you can actually see the new engines as they come in uh, which means most of the other people haven't started using them yet so there is a, a window of opportunity there the one I've gone for is my UPB and I've just done a search for it just using one of the default footprints and there seems to be enough results to be worth investigating and I've had a look at what the site's like as well uh, they look like a normal forum you can see that some of these have, have already been spammed because I don't have any successes for this uh, engine, so I don't have any verified URLs, what I'm going to do is go into the engine files, open that up, and I can see the default scraping footprints. Uh, GSA holds default scraping footprints for all the engines, and they're not usually a comprehensive list, but it's enough for us to get started. So I'm going to copy that, go to google.com, and uh, paste the search engines in. See, that's a sort of uh, typical kind of footprint, so I'm not sure if that one's going to be very good, but we'll put that together with this. Okay, so there are, there are quite a lot of results. You know, it's not massive, but there's definitely enough here to, to try. So I'm going to go with this engine, and the first thing I'm going to do is create the initial site list so I can actually 
scrape them for additional footprints. And the way I'm going to do that is by using HREFR. Okay, so I've left HREFR running for 15, uh, 16 minutes, and it's not really filling me with confidence that I've only got a thousand unique URLs. There could be many reasons for that. I mean, this, this is a new version, and reportedly there are some issues with the uh, engines. Yeah, for example, I've only taken 33 results from Google, so obviously there's clearly something wrong there. I usually use a lot more proxies too. Um, but anyway, that, that's enough to get started with. This is the initial list we're going to use with FPF. Okay, so in this video we've covered how to decide on which engines you're supposed to be scraping, also how to make an initial list, 